welcome to this session on operations management today in this session we will be talking about economic order quantity that is eoq and reorder points in inventories in our last session on inventories management we had talked about eoq that is economic order quantity today we will delve further into this concept and we will try to draw a derivation of eoq Uh, seeing various examples and then we will see eoq at various points and we will also be talking about reorder points in inventories so what is eoq economic order quantity so it's a mathematical device for arriving at the particular quantity of an item that will minimize the cost for example here it is written that total cost is equal to holding or carrying costs plus ordering or setup costs so economic order quantity to understand it in a simple manner what is the quantity we should order for our businesses at one point of time if we order very less quantity then also overall total costs are more if we order very large quantities then also the overall costs may increase why it is so because primarily there are two kinds of costs when we order some materials one are holding costs or carrying cost holding cost or carrying cost if you order let's say very large quantities then you need space to keep those inventories you need warehouses you may need supervisors to supervise those inventories you may need lot of paperwork you may need to uh, maintain those inventories you may need to get them insured so the, uh, so the overall cost increase then there is also a chance that the inventories will get obsolete over a period of time if you buy more inventories if you order very less inventories then there is a ordering cost for example in our last session also we had talked if you order very less quantity and suppose you have to travel to another city to order those quantities or you have to give an advertisement for example if you are a large industry or if it is a government department they have to advertise in the newspaper there is a process of inviting quotation so the whole process and if you are ordering very less quantity again when you want to order it next again you are you have to go through the whole process so it adds to the ordering costs so therefore what is that optimum quantity which Uh, a business should order is called economic order quantity eoq so ordering cost as i said let us see from this slide what are ordering cost stationary costs travel costs clerical and processing salaries rentals postage telephone emails tendering advertisement costs processing of bills staff work in preparing specifications expediting orders receiving the of the materials inspection and documentation so these are ordering cost so every time if you are ordering very less quantities you know all these ordering cost you have to incur it all over again so therefore if you draw an analogy with your households also in your homes also if you have to order you know every for afternoon your you go and bring the vegetables for the food for the dinner also you go again and then it uh, incurs a lot of traveling expenses maybe you are using your conveyance to go to the nearby market then time is also involved so therefore what is the right quantity so ordering th those are called ordering costs what are holding and carrying cost so we see from the slide you will see storage space you need space to keep those materials so for example you may pay rent depreciation capital employed to buy warehouses insurance handling freight transportation deterioration or obsolescence material handling equipment and maintenance stock taking supervision security salaries and documentation capital blocked that is interest or opportunity cost quality control so carrying cost for example in your homes also if you order large quantities of say wheat or say flour or other things you may not have space to keep in your house where you will keep number 
uh, your capital is tied up in those things then over a period of time it it may expire it may it may not even expire it may deteriorate there may, could be some ants there could be some other, other insects that can g- get into that so then you need material handling equipments to carry them to keep them to shift them from one place to the other so similarly you can this analogy you can apply in the case of industries also where are where there are large materials there are machineries so you can well imagine you know a lot of holding and carrying costs are there then you have to do quality control of them so therefore inventory costs are the cost associated with ordering too much which is represented by carrying costs or holding costs then there are costs associated with ordering too little which is representing by ordering costs or procurement cost so these costs we say are opposing cost if one increases the other decreases if carrying cost increases the if you order more that means you are reducing the ordering cost but you are increasing your carrying costs if you are ordering very less then that means you are uh, reducing your carrying cost but increasing your ordering cost so inventory total inventory costs are the combination of these two cost we also call them total stocking costs so this cost behavior is the basis for answering the fundamental question that how much to order so uh, let us see this graph on the slide on the x axis is the ordered quantity that is how much quantity we should order on the y axis we are showing you the costs so uh, the, the straight line which you see that is as you order more quantity the cost is increasing so this straight line is uh, in blue color is re- representing the carrying cost so the more quantity you order the more carrying costs are there the more space you require the more insurance premium you have to pay the more quality control you have to do the more supervision you have to uh, take the more chances of obsolescence is there then there is a red curve which is the procuring costs procuring cost or we can say ordering cost so you see if at less quantity the ordering cost is more as and when the quantity is increasing on x axis this cost is decreasing that is procuring cost or ordering cost is decreasing so as i said these two costs are of opposite nature you are seeing a u shape curve this u shape curve is showing the total cost so when we combine according to the uh, geometric laws when we com- you combine these two cost uh, this is the cost in with a hyperbola shape or u shape which is the total cost now if you see the minimum point of this total cost this minimum point if if you draw a perpendicular in the dotted lines it is also touching that point where the two curves are intersecting that is where the carrying cost and the procurement costs are intersecting so this point on x axis is the quantity so this quantity is known as the economic order quantity that means neither we should order more if we order more the carrying cost will be more if we order less the ordering cost will be more so this is the optimum point which is in the middle uh, where the two lines of carrying cost and ordering costs are intersecting and the total cost is also minimum over there so this point is known as economic order quantity so basically economic order quantity helps you to identify the most economical way to replenish your inventory by showing you the best order quantity so this quantity we should order which is which should not not be neither less nor more so there is so by graphical method we have seen the concept of eoq we would also like to see mathematically you know how we can calculate eoq so in eoq systems we will be studying behavior of economic order quantity systems we will be determining what order quantities should be there and we will also be talking about reorder points that is how to determine the order points at what point we should order uh, the uh, quantity to uh, to be purchased for the businesses now as far as the behavior of eoq systems is concerned as demand for the inventoried item occurs the inventory level drops for example in the industries or in a business 
uh, as the demand is there, for example, more sales is there, so you will sell those inventories, so your inventory level in your business will go down. When the inventory level drops to a critical point, that becomes the order point. So that means the ordering process should be triggered at that point. So the amount ordered each time an order is placed is fixed or constant in our system which we are studying in EOQ system which is also known as a Q model. In a Q model every time we will order that economic order quantity. So we will be talking about what is that trigger point when you should order for uh, the materials. Then further when we talk about the behavior of EOQ systems, when the ordered quantity is received, the inventory level once again increases. So an application of this type of system is the two bin system. A perpetual inventory accounting system is also usually associated with this type of system. So we will be talking about this two bin system also and this perpetual inventory accounting system also. So we will be talking uh, EOQ in three models. First model will be basic EOQ model. Second model will be EOQ for production lots. And the third model will be EOQ with quantity discounts. So first of all, we will define the basic components of economic order quantity. So as you are seeing on this slide, H denotion of we will denote H as annual holding cost for one unit of inventory. So H is the unit holding cost in other words. S cost of placing an order regardless of size. So this is the ordering cost is S. Uh, S is also known as many times in some books they write it as setup cost. So therefore S uh, alphabet is used. P is price per unit of the product. Small d is the demand per period. This period could be per week, this period could be per day, this period could be per month. Then capital D is annual demand. L is the lead time. What is lead time? Lead time is the time when you give the order and the time when you receive the order. So that time, intervening time between the giving the order and receiving the order is known as the lead time, L. And Q, Q is the order quantity which needs to be calculated, which is basically the economic order quantity which we will be calculating. So we will, uh, before driving the mathematical derivation of EOQ, we have certain assumptions. So one of the assumption is that only one product is involved. So we assume that there are, instead of multi products, there is only one product and annual demand requirements are known. Demand is even throughout the year. Lead time does not vary. Each order is received in a single delivery. There are no quantity discounts. So, basically, uh, here we are assuming that we are we will be calculating EOQ only for one product, and we will assume that annual demand is constant and which is known to the business, and we also assume that demand is even throughout the year. Although there are other models also, in, in the advanced model we will also see when the demand fluctuates, but here we are assuming that demand is constant. Then we are also assuming that lead time does not vary. So lead time is that the, the time when you order a product and the time when you receive the product is also same every time when you order. But in actual world the lead time varies. So that also we will be studying in the advanced model. And we are also assuming that there are no quantity discounts. So in the advanced model, we will be studying that uh, in case there are quantity discounts, how to calculate EOQ. Then uh, another assumption which we are making is that annual demand D, carrying or holding cost H and ordering cost S can be estimated. Then we are also assuming that average inventory level is the fixed order quantity Q divided by 2. So we will assume that... Uh, since the material is being consumed uh, on a regular basis, so the average inventory at any point, because we are calculating economic order quantity Q, so we will be assuming that average inventory will be, you know, just uh, the half of the overall inventory. So Q divided by Q. And we will also assume that orders are received all at once. So, so costs 
or as we can see on the slide annual call carrying cost so now this is the formula of averaging uh, average carrying cost is equal to average inventory level multiplied by percentage carrying or holding cost or you can say unit carrying or holding cost so average inventory level we said that it is we assume it is half of the quantity total quantity so q by 2 is the average inventory level into percentage carrying holding cost we will denote it by h we, which we have just seen so q by 2 so annual carrying cost will be uh, the average inventory multiplied by the unit holding cost for example the holding cost for one unit is let's say let's say 20 rupees per product so there are total inventory is 1000 product so 1000 that is q by 2 say 2000 upon 2 is 1000 average inventory multiplied by 20 that is the holding cost similarly we are we will say annual ordering cost is equal to as you can see from the slide average number of orders per year into the ordering costs so annual ordering cost is equal to average number of orders per year into the ordering cost so ordering cost uh, we have uh, used the symbol s for the ordering cost and average number of orders per year will be total annual demand or total demand divided by the quantity ordered for example let's say you you use 5 kg of sugar every month and so the total sugar which you use per annum will be 12 into 5 kg that is 60 kg so total demand is 60 kg divided by quantity ordered one time for example you are ordering 5 kg sugar every month so 60 divided by 5 so 12 so that means you are ordering 12 times so average number of orders per year will be d upon q into ordering cost s so as you can see on this slide the total cost is equal to annual carrying or holding cost plus annual ordering or setup cost so tc total cost is equal to annual carrying or holding cost is average inventory multiplied by holding cost per unit that is q by 2 into h plus annual ordering or setup cost is number of orders that is annual demand divided by the quantity ordered q d upon q multiplied by s s is the ordering cost so this is the equation of total cost now total cost is carrying cost plus holding cost and the order quantity where the total stocking cost tsc is at a minimum can be found using calculus that is take the first derivative and set it equal to 0 and solve for q in the graph also actually we had seen that eoq point is that point where carrying cost is equal to the holding cost so here in the slide we are saying that annual carrying cost and annual ordering cost so eoq is equal to you have to set q by 2h is equal to d by qs so q by 2h is the holding cost and d by qs is the carrying cost so when you solve this equation you have to calculate q out of it so in the next slide if you see you have to solve it algebraically so q by 2h is equal to d by qs so you bring q to one side so q square will be equal to 2 tds divided by h and q will be the square root of 2 ds upon h so which is equal to the eoq economic order quantity or in other words q is equal to square root of 2 ds upon h so where d is the annual demand s is the ordering cost and h is the unit holding cost so this becomes the formula for eoq or economic order quantity so it's simple to calculate so once again we will see on this slide on the x axis we are seeing the optimal order quantity or order quantity and on y axis is the annual cost so you are seeing holding cost and ordering cost the point where, where they are intersecting and 
the total cost is showing the minimum point. So, this point is the optimal order quantity or uh, this is the EOQ point and you are seeing the total cost also over here. So, this is the cost minimization goal. So, if you order this quantity economic then it will be more economical for you then uh, the firm will be able to save on the costs. So, therefore, we can say that the total cost curve reaches its minimum where the carrying costs are equal to the ordering cost and that point and the total cost is also minimum at that point. Okay, so, let us uh, understand it further this EOQ model with the help of a small example or a numerical problem. So, for example, uh, we are seeing this example. Folex company produces insecticides to sell to wholesalers. One raw material, a chemical powder is purchased from a nearby supplier at 22 rupees 50 paisa per kg. Folex estimates that it will need 57 lakh 50,000 kgs of chemical powder next year. The annual carrying cost for this material is 40 percent of the acquisition cost and the ordering cost is rupees 595. So, here in this numerical problem all the figures are given. You just have to remember the formula for EOQ and you just have to put the values over there and you will be calculating the basic EOQ. So, the question says that what is you have to calculate what is the most economic order quantity. Number two, how many orders will be placed per year? And number three, how much time will elapse between the orders? So, number one, you use this formula EOQ is equal to under root 2DS upon C. You just have to put the figures economic order quantity D is given, C is given, C you have to calculate that is 40 percent of the unit cost, S is given in the problem, you just have to put the figure. So, the answer is 27 lakh 573. So, that is so much kgs per order. Then further uh, total uh, stocking cost you just have to put uh, total stocking cost you have to add holding cost plus the ordering cost in the formulas put the values and you will see and here you will see on this slide that ordering cost is equal to the carrying cost and so these are the total costs. Then you have to calculate how many number of orders per year so D upon Q that is the total demand divided by the quantity per order. So, you put the values you get 208.5. And time between, what is the time between two orders? So, it is a reciprocal of D uh, by Q, Q upon D. So, you put the values and you multiply by 365 to calculate the days. So, you get 1.75 days per order. So, I hope you have understood this basic concept of EOQ. Uh, in the next session, we will be talking about the advanced models of EOQ. So, thank you so much.